Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Pile Up, a minimalist city building roguelite that I'm excited to be checking out here today. It's out now on Steam in early access, so let's give it a look. In we go. Do you want to learn about this island? Yes, I do. In we go. In Pile Up, your goal is to increase the population of your island as much as possible. QE to change selected. Left click to okay, to place. As your island's population increases, your island will level up. To increase the population, you're going to need to build houses. Select the buildings below using left click. Small house, portable house, gardenless house, home office. Great. Now place your cursor anywhere on the island and press the left click to place the building. Anywhere. Oh, that's so much pressure. So do I want it right on the edge or no? We'll start here. Now place your cursor anywhere and press left click to place a building. So we want to go for more. Okay, you want me to keep on playing? People are small, so we piled up 12 of them inside. Oh my word. Deselect a building using right click. To have more control of your land, you can move the camera. They have a lot of uh, necessities here. Have I not done them all? There we go. R to rotate buildings. Cool. Now you can place these buildings as you want using left click. Just the house, no garden included. Can I stack them up? That's what I was wondering. I can stack them up here, but... Whether or not them being super close to each other is going to matter or not, I don't know. Oh, kind of unused space there. Home office. A fine piece of art. I can indeed rotate. Can we sneak it out? Wait, we can actually... Hold on. Why is it not letting me rotate? There we go. I can hang it off the edge. Now that I don't want to do. I love how it repopulates all of that there. So there's clearly like a lot of requirements for on these buildings that it's not really telling me about <laughs> yet. But we'll get there. When your population hits certain milestones, you get factories so that you can keep developing your city. It'll generate a house until it drains out. Every factory gives you buildings of its own type. Requirement. Support factory. You cannot pass the turn without placing every building that you have. House factory. I shall produce some houses. Requirement factory. Put it in there nice and tight. Oh, that wasted space. And then we got our support factory. Whenever you place one of your each one of your buildings, you can pass the turn by pressing space or by clicking the button in the bottom right. Every factory gives you buildings of its own type. Big house, gas tank provides the need of gas in its range. Can you see the bubbles of your houses? These are needs of your buildings to keep your people happy. You're going to need to provide those needs. Well, they're pretty angry at the moment since their requirements aren't being met. If you can't make your people happy, you'll get kicked out. And finally, sometimes people die. You can't make dead people happy. Requirement buildings provide needs. Some buildings can have their own situations. These situations are usually really important and require focus. Read the warning by hovering your mouse over it. This can explode when in contact with igniting buildings like electricity. Gotcha. <laughs> okay. Explosive. That's fine. Is this... Solid, cannot be destroyed platform. You can't break physics rules if you wrote them. 
So it seems like everything's being met here. Nice. Okay, big house. Platform. Oh, we can ha like have them hang off like... Oh, interesting. Okay. Can pop that bad boy down right there. Gets its needs met. Shift to speed up animations. Skip your turn. Control to use top down. Oh, God. What do we got here? Cannot place any object on top of this building. On top of the park. Provides the need of nature. You know what? Sure. That seems not too bad. So we can just, like, keep on building on top here. I feel like we want to make sure we keep putting things by the gas tank as needed. Sometimes you'll need to make choices when your population hits certain milestones. Sometimes you'll select an action factory with risky buildings. Population of buildings under roof buildings increases by 50%, 75 to 100. Let's you pass the round even if you still have a stack of building left by destroying them. Isolated keeps the buildings rather than destroying them. Sometimes a really unique and rare special building. Action buildings can give you great adv advantages if you use them right, but they can also bring your doom too. Special buildings, on the other hand, are really powerful buildings, some even being able to change how the game works. Go on, select now. Seems like, uh, even in the tutorial, it, I, I imagine that these options maybe aren't scripted. Let's you pass the round, even if you have a, still have a stack of buildings. I mean, I only have one roof. Is that really going to be that big of a deal? Maybe we're going to get more roofs. Go on, select an action factory. Contains a casino. Generates a building which can curse or bless your day when played. This factory contains three casinos. 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 Okay. Hmm. About that scripted thing. Maybe, maybe we are still in the scripted part. can't place this on top of anything. So this is a special building that... Okay. Wait, you can place that on top there? I feel like this is going to just be a passive benefit that gets given to us anywhere. The question is like... It feels wrong to put, like, to put this down already, but oh well. A factory that generates support buildings... Generate three casinos. I just really want to have everything be so tight and orderly. Ah, uh, that one line right there. House factory. Alright, well now it's getting a little bit goofed. Congratulations, now you're ready to build your own island. I wish you explosion-free days. Thank you. That's the nicest thing anyone's ever said. What's the city blueprint? Gotcha. It's like... It's gonna be an un... It's like an unlock tree. Gotcha. Game mode. Regular sandbox. Stack land. Oh, hey. Oh, cool. Okay, so we got some different islands. Rectangle. Stackland? I mean... <laughs> okay, well... Hmm. <laughs> what, el what else we got here? <laughs> One sec. Alright, well... You know what? We'll just call... How about filled with rogues? Oh, charge up felt. That's kind of just... It's a fun little... Itty bites. I'm gonna go in and change just the flavor of it more or less. That feels nice. 
Mation area. <laughs> just the flavor of it. It's so nice. Not to mention, like, it's just visually very nice to look at. Okay, so we get to start with the same stuff. Gardenless house, small house. I think we do start with the same kind of... kind of vibe. Oh, wait, we have, like, a little... Is that actually a platform? It really does seem like it'd probably be logical to start by building off the island, so I guess I shall. Before I get attached to not doing it that way. Oh no. We have only one of these. I can't be efficient. Can't be fully efficient, at the very least. Now that's bothering me. Oh well. We'll just meet in the middle. Meet in the middle. Start there. Alright, now we're gonna get a couple of factories. I feel like we probably start out with the same general stuff. Factories. Let's have our factories be in a different section. Alright. Platform. We got a platform, a gardenless house, an electric generator that's in danger of igniting. So how do we provide both needs? How do we, how would we provide both needs? Looks like the red area is the, the danger on that. I guess we'll just start by putting that there. And then we'll have to hopefully be able to put the other thing over. Oh, well. Putting the platform... As silly as it is, it probably, like, it's not very even, but putting it here probably makes the most sense. Well, maybe putting it pretty close to the generator is not actually too bad now that I think about it. Gardenless house, just a house, no garden. Okay, we've got a little bit of population. Water tank. We'll destroy what's below it next turn, excluding the same building or solid buildings. Okay, well that's not an issue right now. You can just pop it right here. Home office, we could even just build that right on top. Oh yeah, yeah. You know what? We'll just we'll just accept that little gap. It kind of here's the thing that's nice about the game is it it fills it in with something kind of pretty, anyways. It, it does a good job of making you not... At least making me not feel bad. Okay, so... Gotcha. So this, I could have... <laughs> okay, I could put it right on top of the water tank. Well, not quite. God, I hate that placement, but that satisfies everyone's needs without blowing them up. So I guess that's just how I'm going to have to go. Okay, good. You can sneak things underneath it. Okay. Park provides the need of nature. We only have the one on that. Eh. Uh. Do I really want to block myself out of being able to do this stuff already? And building building it out here feels dumb. I don't really want to be putting it in, in the dead center. God, that just, just feels a little rough. Home office. 
good deal. Move the needle slightly. Wait, oh, this needs heat, but it's... Home office, a fine piece of art. Should keep him quite happy. I mean, for now... Are we not going to meet... Uh... We're going to run out of people here. Oh, there's a whale. I want to make sure it's in range of both of these things. That's kind of like my main concern right now. But am I wrong, or are we not going to get any more buildings produced here soon? Another portable house, another little rinky-dink son of a gun. Just keep it in range of those. Got that cute little ladder. Come on, build me a big house. Maybe those are infinite. Gardenless house. Put it by the garden. How about that? It's getting very, very tiny little... Oh, there we go. Electric generator. There's no... Nothing we really need to do with that. An apartment complex. 54 extra. Oh, that is quite some height. Can't put it down there. If I'm putting it here, it's on top of the generator. Kind of don't hate it back here. It's looking kind of... I don't know. It's looking kind of... Kind of like something. I don't know. It just... It's nice. We do have to play this. Igniting? Yeah. I mean, I'll just... I could just play it on top of the other one. For now, like, since we don't need another one. Creating a generator tower. I like... Yeah, they have you just... Zoop back there saying, Hey, uh, you know, why don't you take a second and just look at it? It's kind of nice, isn't it? Fill it in. It really does have you go bit by bit. As long as we don't get into a situation where we explode it. Shall I go off the edge? Now that I don't love. But boy, is it efficient. That's one that was that was strictly an efficiency play, not a beauty play right there. That's for sure. Why can't I build it here? I can't... The gas tank really did end up being kind of an annoying thing. There we go. We're, we'll, we'll fix it up. We'll fix it up. It Basically, what it feels like I'm doing is... I feel like I'm making a really fun 3D platformer level. Like, I want to wah, wah, wahoo up this so bad. Ah, and here we are. With problem. Pop it there. Mation land has upgraded to Masonville. Generate a watchtower every three turns. So that's like maybe later we would get options. Generate casino. Okay. So theoretically, like maybe as we play more, we get those will turn into actual like to options. House factory. Generate a watchtower every three turns. Is there somewhere I can put this that's just kind of pretty? This is basically over here. This is my... Um, just my, my stuff. My factories. We don't go there. So we can like slowly... Ah, you can slowly move off further. Oh my god. This can go very far off the edge. Yeah, we don't go to that part of town. It smells like trash. Water tank provides the need of water in its range, but it is leaking. It will destroy anything below it. Oh, 
Well, currently, we don't have the need of water anywhere there. So we'll just pop that down. Okay. Something I can actually sneak in there. Sounds good. Big house. Oh, boy. You ain't kidding. <laughs> okay, well... Now we're getting into make it ugly land for sure. Whatever I do, it's it's not going to be something that I think looks good, I don't think. Keep it medium. Medium pretty. By blocking off that freaking garden, I guess. Home office. I know we could go off the edge, and we probably should. We're really building around this heat generator here. Casino generates a building which can curse or bless your day when played. Destroys the last building placed and gives a copy of it. So we could, like, play the casino twice. We just have a freaking casino now, too. Does, this, does a casino have needs? Like, do we, do we have to meet the needs of the casino? A need, a need to casino? Well, that's something. We could just straight up build... We'll, we'll kind of, we'll tuck that in there. We'll, we'll cover it up. So what did we get? Jackpot. Wow. Hotel grants 500 population. The number increases each time you get another one from the casino. Well, well, well. Okay, this is, this is getting wild now all of a sudden. We'll just tuck that in under there. If you destroy the last one and we get another copy, it says get from a casino, but could I theoretically? Could I theoretically do that and does it give more now? No. Five hundred. Oh, and we're also putting it in a different spot. Hotel. Oh, it has a different, uh, different visual there. Oh, that's kind of cool. Nobody can get there. That's for sure. Every, like, all the needs should be met there. House factory. We're gonna, we're gonna do this again. Spread it. We're gonna actually start spreading it off. We need to, um, start being a little bit more efficient. I thought that was maybe going to blow up. Okay, now this is... <laughs> this is turning into a wild little place. Uh, another water tank. Sure. Solid wall. Okay. Kind of want to build it over the garden here. Gardenless house, home office, because yeah, now we can take advantage of the uh, the needs being met over here again. That's still in range. That's still in range, indeed. Still in range. Ah, but it's outside of the range of the um, the gas tank now. Okay. So we'll need to, if I can get a uh, a gas tank. Popping it down. Here seems good. So that's explosive. So that blows them up. It's not going to look good. But it is going to be necessary. Apartment complex. So we now know that this should be a completely safe place for this. 
to get all of the extra benefits. Okay. This is really... God, I like this. It's so... Freaking pleasant. Park. Um... Roof. If only... I was... I wanted to put it down there. Wait, hold on. I thought I saw... No, it's just when it... When it goes up there, it turns... Turns white. Yeah, because I don't really want to cover stuff up. I know we have that. That's my only requirement that's not met. Oh, no, the gas isn't met on that one either. Fine. Put it right by the casino. I have uncomfortability with this, but alas. Also, I hate the way it looks, but... Again, alas. Cassine. How many? How many do we need? Double casino. All right, what do we get? Good or bad? Nice. We didn't get the jackpot, though. Provides needs of every building in range. I mean, that's pretty cool. But ultimately, we are sort of fine already. So let's build... We'll build it up a bit higher. Hmm. It's, we'll... we'll I, I, I hate, but, you know. We'll make it work. Fills the needs. This watchtower is slowly going to get... Uh, Screwed over. Let's do some weird stuff with this. Oh, watch how we have to... <laughs> what about second watchtower? Okay. And now this... Wait, did the statue rotate? <laughs> okay, electric generator... Um, should be fine here. A little bit <laughs> felt dangerous, but it is fine. So yeah, we want to build around this statue now, like quite heavily. We'll block in the casino. Wait, what? Oh, it pr only provides the needs the second we place it. It's not retroactive. Okay, well then, in that case, we're building back down here. Is that met? Tis indeed. I don't know if this one is or not. That one might... That's probably out of range. It's probably out of range. I can't remember where my generator is. Okay. We're almost at the next tier. House. This is not having its generator need met. So my generators are... I mean, I know I have my big stack right here. So I guess we'll just continue to place it where I know we're good. Masonville is upgraded to Mason Town. Generate a <laughs> generate a watch every three turns. Casino, casino, casino. Well, all right. I mean, I haven't gotten a bad payout from it yet, and I'm sure that's not gonna change. Smile. House factory. Start, just keep pushing it off the edge more and more. Oh, God. Ugly as hell. That's the part of town we don't talk about. 
Split in half. Another watchtower. So gas tank. I currently don't... Oh, you do need... Yeah, you need gas. Uh... It says that this is safe. So, what turns red? It sure has the implication that it's not going to blow up. All right, I really want to do the stupid. Stupid done. Okay, casino. Yet another casino. Okay, it's, it's starting to... You know, things are starting to get a bit on the tighter side here now. Might have to get start to get sort of stupid with it. Push things out more and more. That's the casino that nobody goes to. Alright, what do we get? Bad payout. Unlucky. Ignites itself when placed. Its effect might have devastating consequences. Well, that sucks. I mean, what am I gonna... It's probably the least... The least consequential place I could put it, right? Probably. Okay, let's start building out a little bit further. There's no water on that one. Okay. Kind of built ourselves a new little platform. Yeah, needing water, needing electricity. We may have some problems here now. Park. None of our requirements that we need are nature. Of all the things to get, that one is pretty annoying. It's just going to make a spot that we can't build. Where can I afford to never build ever again? I mean, probably here, to be honest. <laughs> okay. The generators are here. We're missing water at this point up here, but tis what tis. Start to spread out. Oh, this is getting. Oh, this is getting messed. Okay, that felt right. That felt right, though. That one did. Another park. Okay, well, let's start with the casino. In case we get a bad roll. Okay, we did not. Statue. Immediately meet the needs of everything in... Okay. So, electric generator... Okay, so you do get to see if it's going to blow something up inside. Theoretically, nothing. Uh, I still got scared putting it down. Park. We'll just build the other factories out over there. Okay, put down... Just put down anything in range of another... range of another son of a gun. So these are the only things that need need stuff. We'll put them down by it. 
apartment complex. Similarly, plop her down. There's a weird, dumb gap there. And weird, dumb gap, it shall remain. Okay, good, we can put that there. Trying to make sure we have a little... We, it's got to be in range, though. Statue, we shall pop. This covers... What covers the most? Hold on. How, what was the uh, the top view? Top down view is control. What the heck? Where am I? Where am I? Sure. Wherever I put it. Okay, I ended up just putting it right there. That's fine. I think that's about the best I was going to do there. Water tank. Destroy the building underneath the next time. I'll take a small house. Or solid buildings. Okay. Should be fine. RIP. Wait. Oh, what? I thought that it was going to, like, drop down. So. And now everybody that you provided the water happiness to is just gone? Well, that is. Some malark. If you ask me. And you would. You would ask me. Oh, boy. Oh, what a beautiful question mark citation needed uh, island we have created here today. Okay. Big juicy platform. In range of things is the question mark. I'm going to spread this out. That's okay. Okay, we can't get out anymore here. Ay, 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 ay. We've got the water tank, tiny little house, medium little house, apartment complex. Cover up our towers, I guess? Shouldn't matter too much. Okay, now we have a need, a need for grass. Oh god, this is getting stupid. What am I doing? Wait. Your citizens are irritated. You'll lose in... I mean, I, I don't know what to say. I put down the water tower and then they, and then they went... No. Never mind. Oh, that needs electricity. It does... Okay. If I get the unhappy, we would have had a... Doesn't do anything other than always be there for you. Okay, the fact that it can't be destroyed is actually kind of potentially important. I just got an achievement called Based. <laughs> so, all right. Oh, boy. Yeah, we need to get a water tower to put on here, but there's really not that much I can do to... Like, I can't, like, make that happen. Okay. Needs met. Nope. Alright. We got problems. Please give me... I'm gonna lose in two turns because I'm not getting my needs. I don't think that... At this point, I don't think that I'm gonna make them less happy. I think that it's like lose in two turns or I'm gonna get one of the things I need. I think I'm basically just hoping and praying 
that when I press the space bar, I get a water uh, thing, and it does not blow the hell up when I put it on the Maui head. All right. It's official. I just lose. I didn't get... The thing is, I could have been fine had I known that the water tower would not, you know, Minecraft sandblock fall. Which, I, you know, hindsight, I could maybe assume. Let's at least die pretty. Alright. There it is. Social crisis. I mean, not bad, though. Genuinely, just like, if I was able to put that down... It, it looks wild. If I was able to put that down, it would have been good enough. But maybe if we can get... Okay, so now we have 260 scraps. Mechanic, when placed, every factory in, in touch gives five buildings from themselves and gets drained. Two more of itself when destroyed. Storage gives one random requirement and generates three brick roofs. That seems really nice. All right. And we'll just get the... We'll get the mechanic. All right. So there's a bunch of that stuff there to unlock. But this is such a pleasant game. Uh, I love it. I love it a lot. I think it's a really good, really solid game. In that kind of like Zen City Builder space. Uh, I think that so... When you unlock, you probably unlock this with a win. There's also the uh, sandbox mode if you just want to vibe, truly go for the full casual experience. But alas, alas, that is that. And that's going to do it here for today for Pile Up. If you want more of this, do let me know in the form of a comment down below. I really enjoyed it. Uh, pick it up for yourself with the link at the top of the description. It is currently on sale for 20% off. Normally it's 10 bucks, currently $8. Um, I think it's a really, really, really nice time. If you just want to play something, it's got some strategy elements to it, but it's not overwhelming, you know. You just kind of have a little bit of foresight, a little bit of, you know, okayness with putting things down in a non-pretty way. Or you can play the sandbox and just build a pretty island. Um, but yeah, last, last, that's that. That's going to do it here for today. Thank you for watching. Check the channel. I cover roguelikes and more every single day if that is something you are into. This is a channel that you should be subscribed to. Thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye.